I've seen both Hamlet and Rosencrantz and Guildenstern at least twice in staged productions each. Um, and I knew how powerful they were, and I'd never seen them in juxtaposition, and certainly not with the same actors and uh, same things. So I said, okay, let me think what I can do. So I, I started thinking of this idea of, of transformations, and then I started exploring you know, uh, many of Shakespeare's works. I mean, you can think of West Side Story as a takeoff on Romeo and Juliet, or the movie O was based on Othello and so on. So I, I put together the, this idea and then sent it to Ford to uh, Pat Clark in the English department and said I would do this at whatever, I, I'm not sure this is uh, interesting, but I, will try, I would do it as a senior seminar, I would do it as just a, uh, a 395, which is our topical course for one-time things, or uh, I could do it as, as the sophomore seminar. And so she came back and she said, this might be really interesting to get students who are just beginning the major, thinking uh, about the major in creative ways. So we started reading Hamlet yesterday. That was our first day, and we are just starting on Hamlet, and I, I have a film one film version, a Kenneth Branagh film version of Hamlet. And one of the things I, I said, you know, how is this different from reading a text? I said, you know, a, a play is meant to be performed, and you have, whereas in, when you're reading uh, a poem or a short story or something, it's basically your interaction with the, the text, you're really interacting with uh, the writer. But when you see a performance, you have not just the words that the playwright uh, created, but you have the intervention of a director, you have actors interpreting the roles, you have uh, lighting, uh, sets, uh, costumes, all of that contributes to your experience. You will be amazed at how what is difficult to understand when you're reading in early modern English uh, in a text how clear it becomes when you have actors who are embodying this language and their gestures and their emphases. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern is both a profound and very funny play, and they're gonna uh, they're gonna love that too. Because when you see actors doing it, that humor becomes lots more evident than if you're not used to it and you're trying to pick it up reading it on a page.